Hi there, and let's get back to it, the gallery window. When you right-click inside the gallery, you're going to reveal a series of copy grade controls at the bottom of the contextual menu. So this is the ability to turn on or off any functions that will occur when you copy and paste grades from one clip to another. This is the basic Control c Control v command. At the top, you can choose to preserve the number of nodes you want to keep with your selected clip before applying the grade. This is really helpful because you might use your first node for neutralization and you don't want to overwrite that when you copy and paste another grade on top of it. So you could say, well, copy and paste this grade across but leave the neutralization that I've already applied to the clip. So let's say I want to apply the grade that I have in this clip onto the following reverse shot. The first node in this color correction was used for neutralizing the clip. So I want to make sure I'm applying the grade itself and not the neutralization. I'm going to click on the new clip, make sure my preserved number of nodes is set to 1 so that I'm skipping the color correction node, and then right click and add correction. And it's a bit extreme, uh, but that's why we can go back to our correction node and brighten it up a little bit and get a match going on. Also in the contextual menu, you have the ability to preserve your camera raw settings. This can be quite important if you've been setting up individual values for your camera raw settings, uh, that is if you're using raw footage, and you don't want to overwrite that onto other clips. Same thing with stuff like input sizing. Uh, so these could be any of the transform controls that you could perform on a clip inside of the inspector of the edit page. If you want to ignore that data, make sure you tick preserve input sizing. The last three options, Convergence, Floating Windows, and Auto Align, you can ignore unless you're working with stereoscopic footage. The absolute quickest way you can copy and paste a grade from one clip to another is to select the ungraded clip so that it shows up on your viewfinder and middle click the clip that you want to take the grade from. And then of course you'll still have to tweak the shots to make them match. Once you start setting up more complex node structures, you might be interested in isolating specific nodes for copy and pasting. To do that, you can right-click on a clip and display the node graph. What you're seeing is a reflection of the node editor, but here you can choose whether you're applying just the color information, the pan, tilt, zoom, and rotation values, so a transform, basically, or whether you're applying everything. Once you've selected your blank clip, you can click on one of these buttons to apply the entire node structure, or you could drag and drop an individual node to apply only that information. Regarding importing and exporting, I think it bears pointing out that what you export is not just a thumbnail or an image, it's a high-quality DPX image that contains detailed grading information. So you can send this to other colorists to use as a visual reference or even for them to apply the grade onto their own projects. When exporting, right-click on a clip, specify where you want to export the project to, and when you do so, you will generate two files, one being the DPX image and one being the DRX file that contains your grading information. When you export with a display LUT, it will be three files, including the LUT file. Uh, this can then be applied in any external grading software that your colleagues might be using. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.